microwaves, turning on the microwave and killing little babies. Israel answered back with an attack on Gaza, going after Hamas, and they have been victorious over Hamas. They're still trying to get Yahya Sinwar, but he's most likely in a tunnel underneath on the Egyptian side. But we pray for the return of the remaining hostages, whether they're dead or alive. And now, Israel, with their intelligence provided them by the God of Israel, they have systematically taken out the top 20 leaders of the Hezbollah terrorist organization, the most notorious, vicious, and brutal terrorist organization on earth, including 3,000 pagers of Hezbollah mid-level terrorist operatives that blew up simultaneously. Praise and glory to the God of Israel who fights for his people. That's Exodus 15, 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Yahweh, Jehovah Jireh, God Almighty, El Gabor, El Shaddai, is a man of war. Yahweh is his name, who fights for his people Israel, and is giving Israel victory now over the Hezbollah terrorists. Also recently, God opened the door and made a way through intelligence. Ishmael Haniah, who was the head guy of Hamas, who lived comfortably with all his millions of dollars in the terrorist country of Qatar, he took a trip to Tehran and his room that he stayed in there blew up while he was in his bed and he's no longer around. Many of these terrorists, Ishmael Haniyeh, Hassan Nasrallah, Fuad Shakur, and others were around in 1981 when the Marine barracks was blown up in Beirut and 241 Marines died. Hezbollah has also taken captive CIA operatives and killed them. And during the war of Iraq, they even sent in explosions and killed Americans in, in Iraq. And these are a bunch of bad guys in the United States because they politically, Democrat or Republican, Ronald Reagan, George Bush, Bill Clinton, George Bush again, Barack Obama had, and the current Joe Biden had a policy of appeasement to radical Islam. Radical Islam is a death cult, and all they want to do is kill Jews and kill Americans. But when Trump was in office, that stopped. <coughs> as soon as Joe Biden got in there, the appeasement started again, and Hamas, Islamic Jihad, Hezbollah, Fatah, the PLO, they all started up their terrorism of Jews and Americans again, around the world. But with the Hamas attack on October 7th, a year ago today, Benjamin Netanyahu and many Israeli political and military leaders said, never again, never again will there be a Holocaust. We don't care what the Americans say. We don't care what the European Union says. We don't care what the United Nations says. We don't care what France, Germany, and the United Kingdom say. We're going to fight to the end, and those organizations are going to be no more. And as you can see, a year later, Hamas is virtually extinct. <coughs> Hezbollah, they're on their way to being extinct. And you don't hear much from Mahmoud Abbas in Judea and Samaria what the Palestinians like to call the West Bank, but it is the biblical heartland, Judea and Samaria of Israel. You don't hear him say nothing, because he knows he's on the list and he could be next. And now, after that son Hezrala was eliminated and neutralized, you see the mullahs in Tehran, 1,200 miles away, <coughs> they're hiding out and they know Israel's coming after them next. We'll see what happens in the coming days and weeks and months, <coughs> but know this for sure, the God of Israel 
has a covenant with one people on this earth. <coughs> and that is the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the 12 tribes of Israel. Glory to his name. And we thank Yeshua HaMashiach, our blessed Lord Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins and offers salvation to all who will believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. That Jesus died for our sins. He was buried. 